Okay, uh, whatever time it is. <clears throat> um, I'm, I got up, I had to put some wood in the stove. It's only like 50 degrees outside, it's not that bad. So excuse any messes, because again, I have been trying to... I've had these up to five weeks or more seeds in that, see if they germinate. These have been in there barely a week. Avocado seed. And I'm going to quickly, quickly show something if I can. I'm going to try to make something... i got to get something to eat. Anyway, I, bit, I got done taking a, a nap. Um, well, anyway, um, I was looking for something, and, uh, and I just pulled this out. And I'm going to show something real quick. And it's kind of sad, but it, it, at the same time, it, it will show... Um, um, my hair is, like, sticking up. I've been laying down, and... Uh, and plus, I took a shower yesterday morning, so it's got, like, no moisturizer, no, no natural oils, no conditioner in it. When I wear it a little bit longer and the more farther back past, uh, you know, I was, I could relate to women on that, I guess you could say a little bit. You know, like, the, the, what, what do they call it? The next day hair? And I mean that not in a feminine way, none whatsoever. I just happen to wear my hair a little bit longer than most men. And I'm talking about it not being in a... A hippie way or, or a grunge way, which I, I, I did that somewhat when I only done that when I was like four, 13, 14 to 15. That's when I had my hair the longest in my life. Uh, yeah, I'll show myself. I don't care. Whatever. I'm being real, ain't I? Um, um, yeah, well, I don't think that camera smoke or telling me not ash just evening. Well, yeah, anyway, my bangs, I remember when I'm 14 years old in school, I could put my bangs down and barely bite on them. They was that long, but I had the shaved undercut, you know. It wasn't like uh, uh, Kurt Cobain. For 17, I was really I was a, a little bit of a rebel without a cause, but I, I grew out of it, thankfully. Uh, but I'd wear, you know, the, I'd wear boxers and let my pants sag a little bit, not a lot. I even had a wallet, a regular wallet. It was kind of like a trucker wallet, but a regular so wallet to chain. I was all about image and style. I mean, I like, by the time I'm 17, I tied with somebody else. I got, I got, I wasn't in the group, you know, I was, because I was kind of a, associated with some groups, but I was kind of a uh, one-on-one -on -one still, you know, but, about three years in a row from 7th grade, 8th grade, ninth grade, somewhere there, ten, a couple of different times in the yearbook. I got voted in as something, but one year I, uh, well, I had a little bit of the chip on my shoulder, you know, coming into identity, you know, 7th grade, then that was like, officially, you're in high school. For us, it was like elementary, was kindergarten, 6th six, six grade, and then high school was 7th grade onward, even though you could stay, there was still a little bit of a middle school there. You know, 7th, 8th grade, even ninth grade, the, the 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 sophomores to definitely the juniors and seniors didn't know anything about us, but we knew who they were. You know, I mean, you know, why is a senior going to be, odds are, given a, a seventh grader or an eighth grader at a time of day? I mean, just socially, that's not the way it goes. I mean, unless they're doing something mature, like breaking a fight pit, uh, 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 or preventing one from happening. You know, every now and then you do got a mature 17, 18 year old out there or, or go in telling a teacher like, hey, you need to do something with them. They're about to get into it. Um, anyway, you know, yeah, it started out at 13 or 14. I can't remember how old I was when I got the first earring. Had It started out with one earring, first piercing right there was done at Claire's and Hot Springs Mall. And then take it to that. My last girlfriend, when she's under my roof, unscriptural relationship. I have enough respect to say it that way. She's like, oh, I used to work. I don't know, I don't know how old she was in her teen years or what. She's like, I used to work at Claire's. And then she's like, when people were practicing to get certified on training on the piercing gun, she's like, she said, I had a bunch of piercings and I'd always let people like, oh, try on me. Do it on me. And she said she had a bunch up there. But I had, you just still got the holes today, but I don't think anything can go in there. I had, I had, Two earrings in the left ear, one earring up here. Uh, um, image, I mean, believe me, I was not promoting country boy image. You gotta understand, I'm in South Arkansas, and you know, from 13 to 15, out of any guys in the class, you know, that had an earring, there was, there was less than five. And, and, and then, you know, and I've got the longest hair. 
I was trying to stand out in some way, and uh, uh, I, I understood it later. It, it some of it at the time, at 13 to 14, I didn't understand the psychology of it, because I was very, I had lots of anxiety, I socially, and I had acne really, really bad, I've got scars to this day, If I mean, somebody look really, really, really close, I've got scars, I had acne bad, and then, you know, being class on like, seventh grade morning, or set first period or second period when a 15 minute deal would come on called like channel one like news presented by like teenagers or they were either upper teens or very early 20s presented for high school students uh every night in a clear cell commercial would come on and i would be sitting in class and then i would feel just embarrassed self-conscious i would be thinking like all eyes are on me or everybody's gonna be thinking about me because i was like in the top three if not the number one that had the worst acne Oh, I don't know what was going on with me. I guess my hormones were raging or something. Um, yeah, at 12, my grandmother took me to the doctor because my mom was busy working. Had lymph node gland up here getting big. Saw the doctor, military doctor in Mount Arkansas. I can't remember his name. He seemed like a nice guy. The one I ended up seeing a few times later. And then, but, uh, I ended up quit wearing boxers by the time I'm 14 or younger. Uh, overseeing a urologist. I had a medical problem. And he's like just wear briefs and I, the slow story short a varicose vein that went to a certain what would be equivalent of a woman's ovaries one of uh, i don't even want to say it my one of my two testes you know one anyway the, the the vein was abnormally bigger that went to one and um i had to show the doctor a doctor, first name, letter starts with a B, same, the secondary physician my mother saw last year. I get a lot of that. Uh, I should go slap humility in here. I mean, even if he's a 70-year-old man. I should be like, young man, hey, hey, you. That My mama didn't even, I don't know what y'all got. Y'all notate on the books. She don't like you. Huh. One one word, Janice. I don't even know her last name. She's not alive anymore. She didn't like you either. And you discharged her for in non-compliance decade and a half ago non-medical compliance and then year 2017 discharged my mother that was the primary doctor in Mena, arkansas polk county it's still dis discharged against doctor's orders and then still seeing her oh, bless doctors medical practice stupid el stupid el stupo dumb dumb medical malpractice from there to arkadelphia to little rock arkansas to hot springs arkansas swear on my life before god almighty i'm on the, the phone with somebody within two months after my mama died uh, on an insurance company to just say i was telling anybody and everybody what happened i knew they was already hating me i already knew it was a one-sided deal uh uh talk about trauma upon trauma not just salt in the wound trauma that built upon ungodforsaken trauma mm. hypocritical or not uh this man is the, the one that was really trying to save my mom's life the most, even with uh, knowing that we had a conflict of interest and keep the public highways safe, I was really doing the most, directly and indirectly. Anyway, anyway, see, see, I, 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 I want to talk about it because emotion happens. I'm not a robot. Is there anything that asks me on a computer screen? No, I'm not a robot. And I let my, I get so weak, I can't even type at times. I get tired of it. That's why I've, I got speak text. Um... Yeah, I don't mean I want to slap a doctor. I was making a metaphor that I should slap humility into him. Like, he is arrogant. I saw him at the Norman City Hall when he practiced there, before Dr. Singh was there by Melba's. Arrogant, cold, man. Teenage, I don't care, teenager. You sense things. You sense things. I never liked his personality. My mama didn't like his personality, flat out. And I even told the, the, the victimization coordinator in Malada, Arkansas, and man, I'm on the phone with her. I'll take 10 lie tests. The best 10 out of win, I said, my mama don't like being up there. She's up there a few years ago. She says, well, that's where she's at right now. My, that's about all I can do. But by God, if my mom was a rich, prestigious woman or whatever, or if I had been, they'll be like, oh, we'll file, come back, file something. We'll see what we can do. We'll see if we can get her transported to somewhere else. Or what do you recommend, Mr. Abbott? Did we get treated that way? And I'm on that, that same history, same victimization, the one that got the, the, the prestigious... Dennis, tell me, D Dennis Arthur in uh, uh, Malata, Arkansas, that got photoed of my, that's a fake tooth, got photoed of it, chipped. He took photos of it himself. A high dollar dentist emailed it to her, and on my long time, I all but went to the court case over that. I was assaulted and got a bunch of teeth chipped. I got four or five of them chipped, man. That Her, that victimization coordinator, she victimized the hell out of me more than once in her title right there. 
Pope Montgomery County, Arkansas, victimization award. I was on the phone with her before a state trooper up to here and a, 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 a former deputy Routon came. I had taken my mama's pharmaceuticals. I was on the phone with her day before that, two days before that. And she's like, oh, uh, I've went through something similar who I went to school with. Uh, uh, that, and she ended up getting on nursing probation and this or that. T talking about a, a prior county coroner's daughter who, who's probably not alive today back in the penitentiary. So I'm saying there, there's a 10-year history of them knowing the, 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 the escalating bullcrap with my mother, especially on the medical side. And one person right there with the title, the lovely title, victimization coordinator. Oh, and then the, then when I'm at Arvest Bank, Mount out of Arkansas, and it's the drive-through of it is almost a straight line over there to the prosecution's office. Uh, they're out there smoking and whatever, looking my way and act like this, this disgusted that I was there. That's the body language I got. I was cashing a, that, that was a contract, I was told the account was closed already or frozen, and then bam, I got to, I got to cash a check uh, that I wrote out to my mom in or around May the 20-something, 2020, before she died, I found it right after she died, that I wrote for her, t t a $22 check, and got to cash it, kept getting conflicting statements, then I'm on the phone with the National Call Center to the Arvest Bank. Uh, somebody's been telling me that's about to change. I don't know if that's true hearsay or what, but it's about to change names. Well, anyway, uh, I, I'm on the phone. I called it. I got to where I, anyway, and, and they kept telling me on the front end without me asking repeatedly. Well, you're, well, you're, well, you're down as POA you're, or you're down on payable, uh, uh, POD, payable on death. They would tell me without my asking, but then told me more than once that the, that it was frozen or closed. And that turned out to not be true. I ended up on the phone, National Call Center at Arvest Bank, and uh, um, the man told me, he said, he said, a pending death certificate could help you with this from your funeral home that you're dealing with. I said, oh, really? I said, I don't have a lot of experience with this. I said, I didn't even know a pending death certificate existed. I called that, th that, that, that funeral home. The lady was reluctant to do it. She's like, uh, it's not a legal document. Uh, I said, well, I want it. And I said, uh, her bank's asking for it. And then that motivated her to send it to me. And then she had to send it to me via photocopy and attachment e email. She says, you want it that way? I said, that's fine. I, I was in a hurry. But in hindsight, I got to thinking, that's not, it was not the best way to do things. You know, having my mom's social security number, and then I know I end up doing some of the stuff later that year, more so earlier this year online, but I, I, I had to work with what I had to work with, and I didn't have much to work with. Other than paying for some kind of, finding out a service that was meant for that, that I knew I could, I wanted to be able to navigate. I don't care with what carrier I was with, phone breaks on accident, I don't care if it's one company or another, I wanted to be able to move files from one place Place to another so I worked with what I got work with and that was going to lead to another deal but anyway anyway he said he says no her account's not frozen but he says after I do what I'm about to do he said it will be uh, or, or I can't remember the fro I think the word was frozen and um and, uh, I, oh, and I ended up getting that as soon as I got on with him got the the death certificate and and got biological father uh handed him a copy his verbal agent he gave one drive through to Arvest Bank, uh, Glenwood, the, uh, uh, the next day. But then I had him fax a copy to, uh, I think, Arvest or somewhere else. I think it's Arvest, both. Fax one uh, from the grocery store in Glenwood, Arkansas, that evening. I promise, I promise, I promise. And I've always had any reason uh, to trust him. But what got me was we we'll talk about, and it's sad, really. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and upload the whole thing. And... Uh, Oh, and I asked uh, uh, Arvest Bank, National Call Center. The, the lady pretty much teared up with me on the, uh, uh, in like uh, middle of September, almost middle of October, whatever it was, a couple of weeks before I got my mother's death certificate. And I think it's what led to me getting it way sooner than I, I was told I was going to get it by the, prestige, the prestigious uh, crime lab in the state of Arkansas. Uh, and I gave them a lot of medical information. Anyway, it's all documented. It's all there on, on Facebook if, if they keep it right. Uh, I called them the very next day and, 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 and was asked about my birth name. He's like, do you know a Scotty Blank? And I explained it. And I'm like, well, last husband adopted me within a few hours later. And then they had to, that week. My mama just dies and hand me a piece of mail made out Scotty. Again, trauma upon trauma. And it added up way worse. That, that's, not, that's barely the tip of the iceberg. It just kept growing upon there. Growing, 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 growing.
If I wanted to speak in worldly business terms, I think Montgomery County Sheriff's Office needs to be sued. I think the state of Arkansas needs to be sued, a.k.a. the crime lab. I think DHS needs to be sued. Uh, 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 adult Protective Services. I think any and all my medical providers of last year, uh, by half of my mother, out of respect, need to be sued. Oh, no, I, I, I even, and I vocalized after I calmed down with a couple of months after my mom's death. I said, and then I said, if we can privately settle this, I did an informal pr proposal. I said, without, with or without the car, I want 70 grand. And I said, I'll walk away from this. I want, I want everything settled, clean slate, with or without the car that's over there that my mama, that gave me a lot of stress. Anyway, stupid people. Stupid. The word stupid applies. Big stupid. Ignorant. But we're all human that make mistakes, right? So don't just, don't just single me out on it. See, I was up, I was, in, I was going to show this, but it, it, it applies, it goes, it goes. I'll put my disclaimer on this. I did a nice video earlier this morning, uh, but I'm more peppy now after I got that beer out of my system. I didn't get drunk or nothing earlier today, and I rarely do that, but, um, but I was down, I was depressed, and I already tried to make a couple of phone calls and couldn't get a hold of anybody, but any, nobody wants to talk to me anyway, so, so be it. Anyway, I bought this in like early spring 2019 in Mena, Arkansas at a particular store. Should I say it? Walmart. Uh, um, bought three of them and they were, and they were discounted because historically I would buy these. Oh, and I opened one. I, I, I was going to say I didn't open beyond the, that page. The first two pages. I didn't go beyond that. And I purposely got out tape to try to cover up names and numbers. Well, I, 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 before I went to go get my phone to start recording, and I didn't know I was going to get on my so-called tangent or rant, uh, a.k.a. real-life accounts, sorry, emotional, p human beings go through emotions. It's called uh, the famous uh, former, what was he, a scientist and a politician? What, so many of the people in this country would consider him one of the forefathers, maybe, of the, of the founding constitution, Benjamin Franklin. He's got a few sayings. Anger is never without reason, but seldom a good one. Early to bed, early to rise, makes a man healthy, wealthy, and wise. Ben Franklin, Benjamin Franklin. One summer when I was about 12 years old, uh, I read his uh, autobiography. I must have been a bored child. Um, anyway, this is sad. This is deep. And really, this is all I was going to show. Uh, but, hey, with what I've been through, maybe some of this does need to be put out there. And maybe it don't need to be directly put on Facebook. And, but yet, it can still, with the, if I do get to upload it, where I've been uploading things, it's not like the, the link can't easily be put, put there or shared to there. Uh, so it's not like I'm saying I'm anti-Facebook. But I am about to, or I want to, maybe on peaceful terms, uh, get away from some of that activity. Unless I do have, like, a business direct, directly or indirectly, whether I'm, it, will, it won't even matter, even if I was considered behind the scenes president, vice president, or, 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 or founder, that, that title probably would not even, that would probably be part of my conditional covenants, that it, it, or, 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 or somewhat private consultant, whatever, it, it probably would not even be listed or publicized. I want to say, uh, uh, I actually respected him. The man that committed suicide, uh, it, it, it actually hurt my feelings. I mean, I didn't follow, know the man, didn't really follow much about the man, but I just knew he, from my childhood years, he was a commonly well-known actor, and I respected him as an actor, Robin Williams. And when I'm like 14, 14 and a half years old, I'm seeing that uh, the movie Good Will Hunting in theaters in Glenwood, Arkansas, during the day, a matinee, Oh, this, oh, this, the grow up, to be a redneck hillbilly grow up here. I got words, man. I got a vocabulary. What happened? Who did this? Was it Cattle Hill School? Was it Rich Mountain Community College? Was it mostly growing up from my mother, a lot of influence from her? Maybe so. A lot of it, but, you know, a lot, a lot of different aspects there. Um, but some of it more than others. Um, um. Anyway, saw the movie Good Will Hunting. It was my idea. How many 14 and a half year olds are basically saying to their mom and their mom's boyfriend, uh, like, hey, I, there's this movie I saw. I saw the previews to, and I'd like to go see it if we get a chance. And we did. I saw a couple of movies at 13, 14, just me and my mother. Uh, oh, we saw, it was, I, I think it was her idea. And we both teared up in the middle of it. I don't know if we like cried, cried, whatever, but Green Mile. 
end the story on that one. And that's got some, that, I'll just end on this note. Hadn't thought of that movie in a long time, and that main actor, uh, he died of a heart attack when he was like around the age of 50, the big muscle man, uh, but who was really the main, the central theme of the character around that movie. But there's some, there's some make-believe, I don't know how to say it, since, since people like the word story and, and fairy tales, there was some, it was kind of, there was some, some sci-fi-like stuff that's totally unrealistic that happened in that movie, but the movie still had a very, very um, emotional, well, point to it. The man was innocently and wrongfully in the penitentiary. And, 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 and some of the prison guards were cruel and mean. And, but thankfully, the, 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 the actor, Tom Hanks, and one of his buddies, they put a stop to that. And that makes me think of Shawshank Redemption. And th there, there's another black man. And I like his voice, Morgan Freeman's. My mama always, she loved Morgan Freeman. I don't know. I couldn't even tell you what actors, if I really thought about it, that she talked about. Like, I really like so and so singers. She always thought El she loved Elvis before Elvis got big on the on the weight with the pills. She thought he was a, a very good looking man. She'd tell me that when I was like 13, 14. <laughs> no, I just go with it. I think she said similar about Keith Urban later on, but I would t do the same with her. I would be like, I had a poster on my wall of a certain singer. And uh, when I'm like 13, 14, or I'd be like, I like this band, Mom. Check out this song. Sometimes she'd like it. Sometimes she's like, she's like, it sounds like this noise to me. And um, anyway, anyway, this is going to be a little bit sad, but it'll have some depth to it. And I, yeah, I'm going to upload it. And uh, <laughs> um, I bought three of these. There's three people in one vehicle that went to me to Arkansas on this day. The last one to come out of the store and then it ended up being the home and garden section for me. I was not far for they a lot of times have their clearance stuff, that aisle. Uh, I don't know how many years they, they started doing that because I don't get out that much anymore or go, go inside stores really all that often. And sometimes I work with what I have available more locally because uh, sometimes I really prefer to go there because if I go east, there's not another store close enough uh, um, I give them here. Here's more. Here's free PR information. That store, if they don't, if their customer service desk does not do it, here's the deal. They should they should send to a limited degree during business hours faxes for a fee and not let the, and, and keep it confidential if it is confidential because that town is that town's weird in that sense. Uh, you can't easily send the fax from there, but you can in in, in Malata in Glenwood, Arkansas. This man has sent a number of faxes over the year, a number of pieces of mail. Uh, 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 um, Oh, lots of mail, uh, certified mail, and only a few times in my life, uh, uh, not only certified mail, return receipt. Namely, look at these, look at these lovely people. Hillary Clinton used to work there when her husband was uh, uh, um, governor of the state of Arkansas. She was a partner attorney. This was, this this entity was once upon a time their uh, CG Rocks and LLC's agent in the state of Arkansas. And I noticed, I noticed, I probably don't even have the letter anymore. When he asked him, please send a certified uh, 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 warranty deed showing survivorship and a copy of the death certificate. I actually appreciated that he even had just requested a copy of my mother's death certificate in, in, in uh, Richard Donovan and in, 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 in who, a state rep now, John Mack II, he's seen us run our mouth to each other before uh, Dr. Judge Looney, the late Dr. Judge Looney. Uh, he, I don't think he was present when they sued me the next year, early 2014. Um, and the key, one of the key of the two eyewitnesses, a married couple, again, conflict of interest. Here, here's some other free advice as, as a private, huh, I should be listed as a private consultant. <laughs> Don't let deputies that are dating each other, man and woman, or about to get married, go do uh, welfare checks or any other thing together that, that's a potential conflict of interest. And not only that, it's just stupid. Who advises you people? Y'all want to retain me? You flip this around as a private consultant, a non-certified attorney? Oh, there's an attorney, a lovely attorney. I don't know what he looks like to this day. Job title, historically, uh, executive vice president. In corporate counsel. Took it to John Maddox II. That's how I learned he was an attorney. I didn't even know he was an attorney. I had him read a letter. Really, We got along back then. Whatever. Hopefully he's got enough respect to, on something. 
whatever he may have access to that I don't know about, God bless. Now, I'm not trying to take bring everybody's skeletons out of the closet. Uh, so leave, it's like leave me alone. And some people, have, they're, you're, they're becoming a big hypocrite while they do it. And that's what we've got to learn through this process. You want to put the people wanting to just shun me and be mean to me. And then it's like the same time. It's like, what have you done and what are you doing? If you think the word hypocrite, hypocrite applies to me, how much more does it apply to you? And what a lot of these people work for and claim to believe in and uphold and, uh, uphold and support uh, like a doctor. The doctor's under the Hippocratic Oath not to violate that. They're supposed to uphold the Constitution. But then, then again, they want to negate that, betray that. Uh, 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 well, I had a word uh, the other day. It wasn't sedition. It's like, you, you, I want, if I have to put some of you people on CNN International and we, if we have to go the legal way about it, I'm going to get you up on the stand. Here's one question I'm going to ask you. Are you anti-constitutional? Yes or no? And then they ain't going to like the question. So that, I'm going to stop right there. So we're, if, if it's an area, not in an area that I'm going to, I'm just saying that for an example. Uh, you, you, we're, we're, I'm going to have a long list, a subpoena list. If I get a law firm to, to support me on it, I'm going to have a long, long subpoena list. Uh, oh, we're going to have to get this. Up to, uh, I want disp disposition of him uh, remotely done, documented. I want him interrogated. A formal interrogation is simply just questioning. A formal, a formal questioning. I want him interrogated. Non-limited to military practices like waterboarding. Put his head underwater about 30 seconds and then say, son, start telling the truth. I'm exaggerating. I'm exaggerating. Nobody take me fully seriously here in Scotty Abbott, Montgomery County, Arkansas. But I know, he, anyway, I'm in John Maddox II in his daddy's uh, law office in, in Mena, Arkansas. Uh, um, two different times over a particular, well, two different properties here, but all in the same deed. Uh, um, I show him a letter that I had or, or something. And it was uh, um, his name, Paige Baypour, executive vice president and... Uh, Exe no, Executive Vice President and Corporate Counsel. As soon as he read Corporate Counsel, he says, oh, he's an attorney. I said, he is? I'm like, I don't know that. I've, I've just heard him referred to as uh, like legal counsel for the company. And so, I mean, I never just, I, that's how naive I was. Not gullible, but inexperienced. Lack of knowledge. Ignorant. Uh, uh, in, in this case, it wasn't so much gullible. Uh, some of that could have applied. But there's a lot of it was just in, inexperience and lack of knowledge. Uh, ignorance. Uh, um, you know, hell, I knew at this point that Dr. Phil, I've known for years, he's a litigation consultant for a firm. Didn't mean he was an attorney. So I didn't really know what corporate counsel meant, but he immediately, he's like, oh, he's an attorney. I said, uh, not, I said, I don't, I said, I can't fully say yes or no on that. I said, I know he's been referred to as legal counsel or somebody's referred to him as our legal counsel. Or, and, uh, he says, oh, but he's like, well, when it says corporate counsel like that, he's like, it usually means that's the some kind of attorney on behalf of the company. And then anytime I've involved attorneys with them or courts with them, him, him, and the first one, Rick Moore, the then signing partner, they start changing their, their, their job title, chief operating officers. Oh, I wish I had the name on it. I bet he was a partner. I bet he's a partner. Fritch name and all. Because legally, you can only, what one attorney told me farther back in the past, you can only sue where the lease agreement was created, where the, pro in the county the property is located, uh, or, or, or as Richard Donovan pointed out in the Court of Law Circuit Court in Montgomery County, Arkansas, you have to sue a, 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 a partner of a certain level, an active partner of the deal. Or I, then I even found out myself on, with an online attorney or sue where the ownership is. So that means, oh, I already I asked years ago. I asked somebody, I'm like, do you know an attorney in France? I said, I, I want to see if I can get a U.S. attorney to outsource contract with an attorney. And the, and the person told me, yes. He says, yes, I do know an attorney in France. Well, I want to see if they can out. I was at the point. I, I was going to fight fire with fire. I was like, if the, media, if the media wants to have a field day with it, I'm like, well, I'm not totally against it. And I'm normally the, uh, of the motto, no media me. I'm really a private individual. Really, I am. Good, good ways, bad ways. I'm showing my messes. I'm really reflecting myself. When I was 18, 19, 20, somewhere in there, yeah, and it was probably such a silly video. I'd hate to see it today. It was not impressive, but I was a fan of the real world and uh, on MTV, and I did apply. <laughs> anyway, 
That yeah, that tell you how shy I was. But I did. I liked the real world. I was. I was. I was. Whatever I was. Excuse the expression with everything I've said herein, since this is not made for children. Uh, uh, I was. Oh, I was green, aka wet behind the ears. Um. Anyway, off of that, I will show what I was going to show. It's actually kind of sad. I, I can't believe I got off all of that, and I can't believe I'm going to post it. I hope I don't regret it. And I hope nobody, including them, anything I say with any direct or indirect affiliation, such as the bank or anything I don't know about, don't take anything I say over here uh, overly offensive or wrong. Really, behind the scenes, if you if you got ethical, moral respect, if, especially since we got in common, what are we? Born and raised Arkansans, most of us. Uh, um, you know, it's like, come on, let's not do bully beat down here, or let's not do corporate greed. Let, I mean, come on. And I don't care if you if you want to if, if you if you want to say pre oh, prejudice took place, prejudice and bias took get color out of it. Whatever level of Indian I have in me, Native American Indian, I, I'll get on you, your social stance there. If I had to play the 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 the. The, the Dr. Phil litigation consultant. You'll see, if, if you really want to go with the media way with it in the law firm, one, just get me a law firm that I trust. I'll coordinate the whole thing behind the scenes. I will. I want people that were taking certified FBI lie test, and why not only CIA lie test or FTC, Federal Trade Commission, because it's all international in scope. International company been making million do millions off of my land, already got their investment returned. So no, lo localities have already proved they're not worthy from DHS to local doctors. I gotta go higher up. I gotta go up to somebody higher up that, that can oversee this and, and coordinate it and do it on my behalf if I was really gonna go that way. To keep it real, as somebody wrote, told me, wrote about it. Keep it real. I said, I'm like, kid, I keep it real more than most do as I age. I'm like, I don't try to give people false pretenses. I don't try to give people false hope. Uh, uh, I, I, don't, I don't lie and cheat. And one of the days I told her that, she teared up. She teared up last time she was here. She done some of her cleaning and eight times out of ten, I don't even, I'll walk in the room like, where'd she go? She's off taking a shower. And she takes, and takes one very quick. And she come out and sat here, it's after dark. I, it, one of the few times she didn't eat, they actually brought me food. I already threw it away. It come from a nursing home, I'm not going to say. Uh, I, I played a deal and I appreciate it. I'm like, oh, and they brought me a loaf of bread, not this loaf of bread. I requested that. I actually requested two loaves and Red Bull, and it got brought by her and her mother. And, and, and I re reimbursed the money. And anyway, I've got wood particle, but I got her to straighten this up last time we was here. I said, hey, will you do this? Time before last she was here. I got her to clean out the fish tank, which she's accustomed to. She's the whole reason I got fish in the house anyway, back when she lived here. There was a fish bowl over there and with two goldfish in it, and I was impressed back then. She'd clean, Her mama never asked her to clean it out. She'd done it on her own. One thing that made me mad one day is she was drying her shoes back then, and, and this was a, uh, this dryer was new, and uh, I don't know, I was saying something, I, I was redirecting, I was like, hey, you can't dry your shoes in there um, like, without padding. I wasn't given a complete no, I was like, hey, it's hard on the dryer, uh, um, unless you gotta have some additional linens or laundry in there, and then, and then her mom, it hurt my feelings. She, she jumped on me, literally, verbally. I had so many verbal attacks from her, saying short. She jumped on me, like, saying, you're gripping at my kid, or you drag, all you do is gripping at my kids. And, and, and I, I, it, it just hurt. It just hurt. But at that point, we were, she was looking for reasons to be mad at me anyway by, by the latter half of that relationship. I, I, I couldn't do anything right, even if I tried at that point. So her mind was on some, something else and somebody else, and... Maybe she'll get back with him. I heard he's about to be back in town. Sorry, I'll shut up with that. On that part. But anyway. Oh, I, well, I'll open, I'll open, I said, I was going to say I didn't open it beyond the first two pages. And but before I went to go get this phone off the charger so I could record, um, I, I, I did just randomly pick up something. I'm like, I was going to make the commentary. I don't know what's listed in here because I've quit using monthly planners. And I was going to say for years, I would buy monthly planners at, at my mom's, but I, I, I like the full ones, the full page. And you know, I've been in such of a shutdown place and, 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 and after a certain Arkansas, uh, former president and owner, John B. Stacks, a lot of public court cases on him, J-O-H-N, B period Stacks. I've seen court cases that say United States of America that versus him. Uh, uh, anyway, uh, really, after he quit paying rent or through one of his 
companies or a particular entity, LLC. It was mostly in Pulaski County, Arkansas for all them years. Uh, Mountain Pure Water, LLC. I've met him in person twice here. Uh, August 2015 and then like uh, 2004... When we was down there looking at the spring, and he was often offering let to buy it then a verbal offer without us implying or, or saying we wanted to sell anything. He's like, well, I'll pay you 150000 for it. He's like, I'm up to do some updates. And then a year and a half later, I find out he wants to sell it, count and trade with the international company, the water rights to it, for one point something million. Well, that's what I was told through my associative contacts at the time. So he went, to, I, and I brought that up to somebody like last year. Look, well, that's what companies do. They got to buy cheap and then sell high. They're out, they're in it for profit. We're not talking about a non-profit here. We're talking about corporate greed, the richest family in the state of the world. That's what somebody told me a few years ago. I, think I, I can commentate this. Richest family in the world worth $300 billion. Is that them that keeps spying on me with the planes? There, somebody tells me something about them in planes. But out of respect, somebody told me like this summer something. I don't know if it's true or not, but I'm not going to talk about that. I got enough respect for that. I don't know if that's true. I haven't even looked at it on the internet, but I'm not going to talk about that. That maybe somebody, like a, a family member, may have had a death in a plane. I, anyway, I'll just stop there. I'm not trying to b hit below the belt, whether I've already implied that in here or not. I'm saying I, do, I don't want this to go that way. And if I was really a hit below the belt guy, and maybe I am a little bit at times because I do have imperfect humor human emotion, and a lot of people from other psychologists, not just Dr. Phil, I can't think of any famous ones off the top of my head, not that they have to have fame or, or, or recognition, but since we're in the corporate world, in the media world, or sometimes even if you don't want a court case publicized, like the O.J. J. Simpson case, bam, how do they, how do they allow me media, how are they allowed to put that on TV, especially for the people that are never been famous or never been in an occupation like that? I don't know what constitutes uh, a, a court case getting media attention or not. I would be one of the people probably, depending, unless it, if I knew it was boldly going to go in my favor or something, or, or out of respect, or maybe if children were involved, I'm, I'd be the top. I'd be like, you know, if I, if I didn't, unless I had an attorney on, on my behalf, you know, to, to put in the formal motion, uh, uh, I, I would, because uh, I'm not trained to do those things, and I get, I get dismissed, even if I have the grandest ideas in the world, kind of like Dr. Phil, the lit former litigation consultant, you still got to have somebody that's the proper attorney to prepare it. Uh, um, I would be like, hey, can we, uh, Your Honor, can we get a, a, an injunction here or something to, uh, to, to stop the cameras, stop the media attention? This is a no media case. I mean, it can be put in the headlines. Or maybe they're, they're allowed to be in here as, as, uh, 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 as the media, but not with cameras. You know, like, they're, like a brief conference. They're, they're going to take notes with ink and pen. And, 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 and they may have to do a retraction later if they don't put, put it in the, in, in the publication properly. A retraction. What does that mean? Think of that in many different ways. Some people get sued over having it on the front page incorrectly. And then, or they, at least legally, if they don't have to pay for uh, liable damages, they later have to print a retraction that uh, uh, then tends to not be on the front page. Let's, let's go on. I play off of it. I play off of it. I've been, for years, I've been saying I'm international. I'm international. I was, again, I was wanting to outsource an attorney to sue this company out of France. I was wanting to go all the way to the high up. Get them. I'm, like, I'm done with them. The way they've treated me, the way they've manipulated me, the way they've molested and raped the land here, and the way they continue to want to do it, and the way loca localities seem to be so easily, spinelessly, cowardly, paid off, and can't even get my mail right. So there's your No Fear Act. Your No Fear Act. Y'all betrayed my faith in that. Have fun. Betrayed my faith in a lot of things. Part of the world we're in, huh? Anyway, I would, historically, I could not buy one this size for cheaper than five, seven dollars out of a particular store. But I, I would commonly, it was either one of the two dollar stores, the family dollar store or Dollar General. I could get them for like about that price or a dollar. Uh, a full page one, but anywhere else, five to seven bucks. But for many, many years, I bought buy them as gifts. I buy one for me, buy one for my mother. Mother wouldn't use it. Early on, she tried to farther back, but um, 
that was me trying to be, you know, uh, uh, and to me, uh, just a simple gift is something that is a practicality, something that can be used, beneficial to the person that you put thought in it. Not, not, you know, you, you know, you, when you, somebody gives you a gift that, that doesn't put much thought into it and then they, they can do it on accident. It's like, oh, it's more or less like trash to you or you don't want to hurt their feelings and let them know that you don't need it. And you're going to end up giving it away to somebody else opposed to throwing it away. But I'm saying uh, uh, somebody that really knows you even halfway, uh, they're going to give you a gift. If it's not meant out of something meaningful or a sentimentality, it's going to be, here's your win-win with gifts. That you can do any time of the year, opposed to being brainwashed and having to do it according to some kind of tradition, which is based on corporate greed and, 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 and a lot of fairy tales, if I may say it that way. Uh, 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 well, anyway, you can give a gift to your loved ones any time of the year. And, uh, um, yeah, I wouldn't want to be a blind uh, 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 a brainwashed slave that can only do this, 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 and then. And I wouldn't, and I've never been the top. If I had children, I don't want them to think, oh, you lay a tooth under the, your pillow, the tooth fairy's going to come and leave a dollar or five dollars because you lost your tooth. I was a realist. But, but factor religion out of it. Before I even had the concept at the age of 20, I, I, I didn't know if the Bible was true or not, just to say in a general sense uh, 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 and out of respect. Uh, I, I was a realist. I meant, I, I, I stick with reality. It, 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 is that blo off white? I got a smoky wood stove. Sh show my inadequacies here. Embarrass myself some, but maybe whatever, but make some valid points and, 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 and show reality. People want to say I'm like schizoid or whatever, but I want to show reality. It, what's the primary color of that wall? We could say white or off white. If you're seeing bold blue, neon blue, or uh, uh, red or bright red, Something ain't right. Get 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 them. their own ecstasy acid, or they're 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 a delusional schizophrenic. We got it. We got we're a fair check. Call an ambulance. Something something ain't right. They ain't seeing reality. Okay. And then I, before I went to go get this, I opened it up and what we're writing, I don't know what I'm going to see and I don't want to show because I already took the time to uh, 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 tape over some stuff out of respect, phone numbers and names. But uh, th this is what got me going on recording. And I'm wanting to make myself something to eat. Here I am, past 42 minutes in it, and I postponed that. I, was wanting to, I got up, I put wood in the stove, I'm hungry, I'm done with my nap, uh, I'm thirsty. Somebody told me years ago those help electric lights. One of your most healthier drinks, but it's almost 200% of your daily value of sugar. It's well over 100%. Let's just read it. Sugar's added right there, 76%. So I said almost 100%. You drank two of those. You're getting around 180 milligrams of your needed carbohydrates or your total sugars. 38 grams. That's carbs, but it's no sugars. I'm just thinking, whatever sugars, you're, you're getting a lot. But, 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 I, I, I'm opposed to the darker sodas. I won't say names. I, I mean, well, I, 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 as a kid, I, my, I guess my favorite soda, I don't really care anymore. I'm a Dr. Pepper fan. And, and, and I don't like the word fan. And, and I learned enough if you ever got one out of the bottle, a bottle stores stuff better. And then with the, the metal, you have to use a, I found, I saw one the other day. I laid it up. I'll show it. Where did I put it? Can I find it quick enough? I laid it up. A bottle opener. A certain bottle opener. I saw it and I laid it. What did I do with it? I saw it. Did I hang it up? Nope, 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 nope. A little metal bottle opener. Like that, but it's just a bottle opener and a can pot. Oh, it's right here. I've had it for years. And it says on it, Paps Blue Ribbon. Do I got one over there? It's one of the beers I like. Um, I haven't, I don't have a Pabst Blue Ribbon one over here. It's got a, 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 a taste to it. I don't even know how I ended up with that or who gave me that. Michelob Ultra? I don't know. Somebody is worried about their weight. Superior light beer. Oh, that's somebody from the bottling plant. Huh, dropping off my future ex when she was working over there. And the first summer she moved in, she applied. 
I was happy. I was fine with her working around. I even told her to put on the resume, the application. I said, put, I said if they put, if you put my address on there, I said you're probably gonna get shot out anyway. I said they don't like me, uh, especially the plant manager. And, and I said put down there that I'm neutral. That, that they're not for them not to take in, for me to not to be a factor if you get hired or not. I said, put it down there, and hell, if she had it, she probably would have got hired, and it was going to motivate me, because we didn't have, I was going to get that, and I would have got that green S10 running, I don't know if the motor was locked up in yet or not, as a property ride, I was going to make it where she could drive without touching the state highway, as I'd done on and off for years, but my path has grown up, oh, I can go back to doing that, I'm going back to do that real soon, I think I'm going to do it, and I'm going to start par parking by that multi-century oak tree on this side of the commercial driveway, I'm going to start parking there and listening to the radio, not blaring loud. Hope, hope that, well, that, that they park right across from the neighbor's property. I guess there's no reason I can't. The property that my grandfather sold before I was born, if I could go back and do it and say, if I had my way, not to be greedy, uh, 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 I'd say, Grandpa, don't do that. I'd like to have that too. You know, um, hell yeah, where I've matured, I'm, I'm not against donating th things, and, and, and I'm not against it, or still being uh, somewhat of a part owner, and it, whether it's publicly listed or not, but a part as a conditional covenant that I, I, I get to be involved somehow, and, um, and, it, and, I don't, and it doesn't mean I want recognition out of it, it doesn't mean I want fame, no, no it does not, uh, in, in some cases I may or may not, well, I, I am looking to make money in a way, but not by dishonest gain, no, 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 no. And I'm really not out for fame, no. As, uh, some of it is, it's, I guess it's been tempting a little bit in the past, or if I did, if I was, say, wealthy and had everything clean and work, I, no, I'm not. If I, say, say, I, say I come into a lot of money and I have this property pristine the way I want it, with even what rights I have today or that I think I lawfully have or should have, I, I, I would, there, there, I, even if I had certain guests here that were of, a certain, it, it, I, it wouldn't be publicized. It would be private, unless unless there's something going on. Unless unless I've got uh, 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 my uh, um, bona fide co people listed down as my co-managers behind the scenes or non-certified attorney spokespersons on behalf of me that who may say. You know, as a buffer, like, well, you, you can't, for certain reasons, wherever those reasons could be, they may say, you can't, we can't agree to that, you can't do that, or we're not willing to do that, just to let you know. But I was going to say, in some cases, you know, somebody that is famous might could show up if it's for raising money for a certain cause, uh, 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 or two, at least two causes, up to two causes, or more than one nonprofit, so, so it can be considered objective, and it be dispersed equally. Um... Or it might, yeah, it were up to three nonprofits. Anyway, and maybe some not even disclosed, or two of them not even publicized, depending. So, so we don't get prejudice involved. And um, each to your own, in some cases, agree to disagree, humbly, with a humble heart. Scotty, take your own advice, son. Anyway, that's a pretty good beer. I got into that just a few years ago, tried it, because it, that's a, like a 16-ounce beer. That's a, I think that's a pint of beer. Yeah, in, in Walmart, Albert Pike, Hot Springs, Arkansas, you could buy a six-pack of these. That's almost nine beers for like less than six bucks. And, the, and those wines I drank, where's a bottle of wine? I gave away some bottles. But the, the small, the ones with the green leaf, the small version of this, you can get one at Walmart. The single, this is a double bottle. You can get one for less than seven bucks before tax. That one there's almost 16 bucks, counting tax. But Walmart don't sell the, the and that's an Arkansas wine. It, it it's a little bit bitter. It says semi sweet on it, but for the price, it's a different. It, for the price, it's a uh, it's a it's a decent wine. No cork. Somebody gave me last year as a gift, and I'm glad they done it. I think they later regretted it because they thought I had a problem with drinking, and sometimes I do overindulge. I'm not an outright drunkard, but sometimes I do it too often and too much. But no, 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 no. This ain't the one that they gave me. That that ain't is the one. That's not the one that was giving me. Cause when they gave me, took a cork. First time I used a cork. I, don't, I did keep it for a while. I don't guess I have it anymore. I lied when I showed that and said somebody gave me that as a gift. It's not that one. It's a different one. Cause I had to use a cork. I think theirs was a little bit on average nine, fifteen bucks a bottle. Uh, a better quality wine actually. And I'm not saying that to to whatever. I I learned. 
I don't know what a Zinfandel is at 14, 15 years old. After I already left uh, a particular liquor store, Lewis Liquor, uh, with my mom driving or boyfriend, Jerry Foshi, uh, uh, I was sipping on white wines then, figuring out what wines I liked. I, I, didn't, I didn't care for a white wine. I don't know how long it's been since I drank it. I think me and Jerry would talk about it. He's the one that taught me. He's like, that's how you chill wine or beer. Lay, lay it on ice and spin it for just a few minutes, and you can chill it quick. He was a very smart man, very smart man, with a higher, above average a high IQ. He's the one that put the, the siding, the vinyl siding on this house. I guess it's coming off in places. I guess they say he didn't do that great of a job. But for the price that was paid, he, uh, he's the one that did the texture over there in that bathroom when I was 14, 15 years old. I took out the shelf behind the shower when I was like 7, 18, 20 to fix a leak. The, the gold faucet over there, I installed that. I... I've plumbed under it at the age of 15, 16. I've put, at the age of 17, 18, however old it was, tar on the tin roof before mom had it changed to a shingle roof. That old, old house over there. And hell, some of that is, that's pretty old and still got good flooring. My mom had Terminex come out a number of times in the past 10, 15 years. So I don't know how bad it is over there. She, there ended up being a roach problem. I don't know how that all got started. I think from associates, they had them and they brought them. You don't want to get that started. Well, growing up, that's something I've never had. I've I've grown up with dog messes and stuff, and but I, somebody moved in with me one year, an, an unscriptural relationship, and the furniture she brought is what led to a growing roach problem here. And I went through some effort to to get rid of that. I was going to look and see if I had some boric acid somewhere. I do somewhere, but uh, anyway, I'm not going to look for that. Anyway, shut up and say what I want to say. I'm thirsty. Um, this is sad. I bought. I come out. I get in the back seat of the car. Often, I'm just gonna say it. She don't deserve a charge over it. Uh, I wanted her to be my mother's driver. I told her before the first year we were dating. I said if I was in a better position, I, I said if you're willing to do it, I would pay you to be a part time assistant for my mother because they got along. If she didn't have a a certain problem, like some people say, I have a problem with that. Uh, God bless, I, 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 that woman was, was great for me, great for me, great for my mother, or could have been, there was a potential for it, and I, there's so many reasons, I wanted that woman to be the driver for my mom, uh, and that, yeah, and my mom, when she was around, my mom was, me, my, mine and my mom's relationship got better, my patient level went up, my humility level went up, and that's why I wanted, something I didn't get to upload earlier, I think, I wasn't in a good place, really, for a little while, mentally, spiritually, before she entered my life. Uh, for me, not to, to be affiliated with her for off and on for a few years before dating and something romantic happened. I, I, whether or not God played a role in it or not, I'm going to say if he did, I, he, he basically allowed two people to come together and said, but you're both not in a good place. You're both, if you keep going on the course that you're on, you, you're, you're going to end up in a worse place, mentally and spiritually. But but if you two you two are both lonely, pathetic people, and, and I'm here alone. She is bouncing around from one place. She had an almost five year relationship come to an end. She is bouncing around from Liberty Road to Polk Creek Road, Smoky Hollow Road, then then then, then somewhere near here, and then called me one day with a, a female friend. Won't know if she come up and bring beer. June the fourth. Never forget it. Day after a birthday of somebody, and, and she, she knew that they, she, he, he, he was going to get back with his ex. She already forewarned me of it. She, she forecasted something, forecasted, properly, socially pr predicted, not the art of prediction. She socially said, well, well, they'll be around, and they were. They were, and it come to a, like a, almost a dramatic conclusion on June the 1st, 2018, when my mama's purse came up missing, and I do think she probably threw it out the window herself. But let's not get into that. There was a lot of dysfunction then. And um, it was more drama than I wanted. People were showing up that I didn't even expect. And then, and then after all that drama happened in my yard, I told everybody, I said, hit the creek bank. I, I, it's basically, there's teenage kids here. I wasn't the one that had that. Made me more uncomfortable. They, and then they, one of them or two of them were going to the other side of the highway. My mom was nervous about it for some reason or using it as an excuse for complaint. Uh, uh, um, 
Anyway, it was, it was, I had an ex-girlfriend show up from 2008, and I had to explain to her later. I'm like, it's not like this here every day. And no, 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 no. Anyway, th this is a pretty good beer. I mean, in, in pretty much anything that says it's been around 1865, they must be doing something right to keep on like that. There we go. What country are they made in? Who owns them? I need some, can y'all bottle water? I need to make some money. I need some intervention. Whether or not I, and, and, and I, I'm all about nonprofit stuff. But no, I gotta, I gotta figure it out who, maybe even with conditional covenants. If I, I can say part of this property, if it's not bona fide nonprofit use or, or, or just goes to a nonprofit, I'd say a section of it could, as a conditional restrictive covenant, uh, uh, goes to a nonprofit uh, or, or go, goes for business usage. But if it does generate a revenue, profitable or not, but, but to stay afloat, uh, it, it, so much of it needs to go to a nonprofit and or nonprofits. Or I don't know, or certain, certain people will get that and they do what they want with it. You know, it, that ain't all going to be disclosed. As long as it's done lawfully, as long as the uh, could, uh, mutually combined, as long as the Arkansas Department of Finance Administration or the Treasury thereof were associated to and the IRS aren't throwing a fit about it, it should be okay. Right? Right. N n speak calmer with logic. I'm not, I'm, I'm a man of logic. I'm a very, I am really, when push comes to shove, and I'm not saying this to be, if I'm not this fully, I'm really, as I age, I, come on, I'm, I, I, I had to learn some things slower in life. Let's not always say the hard way. I really have been fortunate. I really have. And I've been kept away from the evil, greedy world. I've been kept here. Hidden and, and, and loved it. I got to be with nature and, and grandparents and stuff, and it t proved to be a way better influence. Even though I got socially delayed and not a lot of the social experiences, and partly due due to being an only child, I, I grew up being around adults a lot. So so there was definitely pros and cons. But at the end of the day, there end up I'm going to say with longevity and age and other experience, there end up being more pros than negatives. In my case. And, 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 and I do jump around with thoughts because I have a lot to say. I have, I've had a lot of experiences, you know. Uh, um, Dr. Phil held uh, Oprah Winfrey's hand, figuratively speaking, in the state of Texas when, when those big old Lone Star Texans ranchers wanted to blame her from the uh, uh, mad cow disease or her commentary on a show for, for the, the beef plummeting. I, th even th I thought that was stupid back then, but I never knew the, the, the case. And, and, and her close people said, you're, gonna, you're, you, 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 you're not going to win this case, woman. Uh, uh, you settle, settle. And then she somehow or another met up with Dr. Phil. And he's, this is the way I heard it, right or wrong. But he's like, oh, no, you're not going to settle. He's like, you didn't do nothing wrong. Plus, you're going to win the case. He says, you're not going to lose. And then she started having him on the show, and he wrote a New York Times bestseller book, Self Matters. By the time of, I don't know how old I was, between 15 and 16, I read like 70% of it. That's what I learned that he had, him and a high school buddy, before they completed their PhD uh, uh, in college, uh, 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 got their contractor's license in something and to, for extra money. Some kind of business they operated, I don't know. Um... That man wasn't hurting me for money by the time he uh, 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 met Oprah Winfrey. But if he wasn't worth $100 million plus before he met her, and I'm sure he wasn't, oh, he was. She, she made him millions, and he made millions off of her or through her. They've even joked. I thought it was a cute joke, really. And then that's kind of cool. The woman from Illinois, even though she has associations to Arkansas, I think, and him from Texas, they've joked that I mean, it was on TV once uh, uh, that they that they can't that, like. The, I mean, you know, he, he's married to his wife, Robin. Whatever, they're not gonna ever split up, God willing. That'd be sad. And uh, 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 and two grown kids, and one's an attorney. I don't. I haven't heard anything about the other one. That most of the names starts with a J. Uh, 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 Jay and Jordan, I think. Anyway, anyway. Uh, uh, um, I, well, yeah, I know. I read something years ago after that, that, that one son completed a law school. He said that was the last thing he wanted to do. He's like, he got out of law school. He, he said that it, even though that was on his mind, he had so much of that on his mind, to, for me to paraphrase right or wrong, 
he, he's like, that was the law was not the direction he wanted to go into. And he ended up being like a creator and or producer of the show, The Doctors. And then he ended up, time to time, his daddy was on there. Dr. Phil. McGraw. Okay. But this is a, is a gift. Um, um, what I'd done wasn't earlier, wasn't totally a tongue lashing. Is this me putting some stuff in perspective. As... as an attorney and or litigation consultant would do it with or without media. And sometimes media gets involved and you can't help it. Right or wrong, and media can distort things. Kind of like they call it political spin. I learned that in public high school. From a teacher that had one year of law school. And she's really what led to me to get into the stock market indirectly sooner than I would have. Um... Okay, this is going to be a little bit sad, but it's real. Bought three of these that day. Mino, Arkansas. Then girlfriend driving. Get back to where I was and sum this up. Then girlfriend driving. I think this will only limit me to 80 some odd minutes. I don't know if I post it. So uh, I, wasn't gonna, I was going to post a long video from this morning, but it wouldn't let me post all of it. My condition was if it didn't have a respectful disclaimer and I didn't get to post all of it, um, I didn't want to post any of it. I wasn't going to edit it. Uh, even if I could. And um, anyway, here, key, keynote, keynote, show where I was at. One, notice. I didn't write down notify, I didn't write down anybody in relationship. And I, I, I promise here, Ann, no, even though I'm not under oath officially, I promise under oath, anything I say hereafter is truthful to the best of my knowledge, in, in accordance to my memory of something that wasn't that far back in the past, uh, n n no lies, no fabrications, n no so-called political spin, uh, or I'm saying biased commentary. Uh, well, I mean, just totally objective, whether it's in my favor or not, or w whether it insults somebody directly or indirectly, including my own self, that's not the bold or main uh, uh, intentions for me to be speaking without uh, preparation and training and, and, and pre-planning like uh, Dr. Field did for Oprah Winfrey in a particular uh, 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 tort legal action case in the state of Texas. Uh, and what was that, back in 1994? And she did her show from the state of Texas. Um, I'm glad that worked out for her. I am. Or I am. She didn't need to be sued over that. And uh, apparently in the legal system, uh, agreed. But it don't always get it right. We're all imperfect. But anyway, doctors get things wrong. But at the end of the day, I you don't want me to come off harsh. Or if I did have an attorney, th that's one of the best things before God Almighty. That Mr. Scotty Abbott, soon after my mother's death, did not get come across a greedy law firm that was out for blood, if you will, figuratively speaking, or say, or out for money, out for greed, and said, "Oh, you've got a great medical malpractice case," and and you got. You've got all these agencies. Uh, uh, hey, it ain't, it ain't mean it don't mean you're against the system. Constitutional rights that sometimes you can sue or try to settle out of court with a, a, an attorney who's good at mediation or certified in proper mediation. Hey, I'm I'm with I'm withholding. When I wrote a letter years ago saying I wanted my voting rights revoked, I'd never said I wanted my constitutional or civil liberties rights revoked. Never said that. Somebody disobeyed the Constitution, thinking anyway. Let's just get out of that. Get out of that. I don't know enough about it to really say a legal commentary on that. I'm not, I'm not a legal expert. I'm not a constitutional expert. It's been amended so many times or had amend, amendments added to it. Um, that somebody needs to probably supersede some laws I probably don't even know that's got created in the past few years. Tailor made for their own agenda. So, uh, either a, a national law or a, a, somebody, somebody needs to supersede them. And what, the, the, what they've been trying to buddy-buddy do with uh, the good old boy system with the state of Texas, I speculate, uh, was that, without getting into my reasons. What Arkansas and Texas have been trying to do and where, and where it would throw me under the bus in the meantime. I don't know if they have or not. But, but the, the, they, politicians, I scratch your back, you scratch my back, or that's what businesses do under the table, behind the scenes. And we're, 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 they don't care who, if it throws out the little mom and pop business or even put somebody innocently in prison. They, they don't care. 
They don't care. As long as they make their money and get what they want out of it, they can go to hell. Sorry, I don't mean that. I don't mean that literally. That's not what this property is meant for. They disrespect me. It's meant to keep it real. In a, in a realistic way. I mean, not, not fake, not fantasy, not de de delusioned reality. Um, but sometimes I have grandiose thinking. Go ahead. Okay. I put my name, my address, wrote it down there. It, it, roughly spring, early, mid-spring 2019. There's no date written in here. And... Oh, and I, when I flipped it over, it's got, uh, the only thing I saw was Jesus Memorial earlier. Oh, I, I didn't pick. And it's there. Oh, my gosh. I read that. I just saw Jesus Memorial. I flipped it up earlier. That's all I read was Jesus Memorial. This is going to throw me out. Wow. I think we got turned away that day. I know we went to our very, the very first appointment. I say our appointment. I was there, man. I was. I didn't write the later ones later. I didn't. I know when she had surgery and all that. And I don't know why nobody else was there. But anyway, I didn't even know that was written in there. I swear on my life before God Almighty. And if I'm saying that wrongfully, I, I, it's out of ignorance. So forgive me, please. Um, well, anyway, so that tells you right there. This was meant. This was. 2019 was going when I bought it. Anyway, ICE it makes me think of some kind of governmental agency <laughs> or something else I could say, and I'm not. I didn't make this any less respectful. Disre or, yeah, less respectful. In case of emergency, I, I see. I like that. I like that um, acronym. I, I forgot how you say, say it. Uh, but I put my mom. So it says mom there. Long time home phone number that I've been using since I was 16 or younger. My first PayPal account was associated with it. My 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 work uh, or my school from from uh, County Hill School to Rich Mountain Community College and whatever jobs I had up into early 20s. That number was affiliated to a lot of things before and after me having a cell phone. And then at some point when I was 18, I got put on the, not Winstream, it wasn't Winstream yet, the Altel account. I got listed on there. Because city cards said, show us, before you get approved of this, they said, show us a bill in your name. I said, Mom, will you uh, add me to the phone bill? She says, yeah, sure. <laughs> I just called and I, didn't, I was 18. <laughs> just about to start my senior year in high school. And then during that senior year, I bought my first stock, a whopping one share of XM Satellite Radio for like $15 and something, and it was through E-Trade. Anyway, don't want to get into that. Um, anyway, I'm trying to block out names a little bit here. This one needs to be a little bit more covered, I respect. But it was her, her a phone number ending in 44. I bought it for her after she got under this roof, like three weeks later, her, the phone she did have quit working. And I was like, well, you need your own phone. I'm like, you talk to family time to time and you got serious appointments. So I'm like, I guess it's best we don't share a phone. And, uh, but I put an L E R down just for, it doesn't, and it doesn't say anything about relation. He was just, uh, no emails listed. It just, his cell phone so it was first mom in case of emergency it was second girlfriend cell phone and then it was a long time associate uh who happens to be my biological father and technically if my adoption papers are valid i don't have to disclose that i don't have to i choose to even though i'm not proud of what the, the, the funeral home did within 48 hours of my mom's death of giving me a mail made out to Scotty Parker, after I already told them, I, they, they, they probably, if, if they didn't have a conspiracy made up, they just, it was bad timing is all I can say. Bad, bad timing. They should at least waited a week or two on that if they had any sense. Like, like, come on, the, the boy's mother just died and, and, and y'all don't know what he's legally done three times before she died. 
and the long-time communication he's had with her primary doctor and the main nurse, Miss Meeks, you, you don't need to get too testy with me now. Uh, uh, I, I, I'm a reasonable man, a very reasonable man. Uh, um, to my mama, a month before she died, three weeks she died, she's on my flip phone, long time, uh, Kyocera 3651 number out there on the phone to you or that doctor's appointments office out here. I don't know why she's calling all the people for my number. Sheriff's offices, this and that, said, I want to use your phone, I want to use your phone. And I'm like, my mom, it only really works good, or I, I think sometimes I said, people can't always hear you unless it's on speakerphone. Like, I got to put it on speakerphone. That phone had a really good speaker. That's a great phone. And uh, I wish I had another one like it. I do for my like a, my mobile home phone, and I do appreciate a little bit of video. I, I don't care it, 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 nowadays if I got a phone other than a home phone, home phone like this, if it don't have video capability, I almost don't want it. I don't care what happens. I may in the moment need to take a photo of a, a pretty flower, or I may need to take a photo of something uh, something very serious in the moment. Or, or, or a 60 second video clip, a, a three minute video clip, whatever. Each to your own. Within a level of reason and respect. Spiritually approved married couples don't always agree on everything. And sometimes agree to a disagree or compromise and take turns out of respect for the other. Okay, well anyway... I wrote down, number one, mom. But I knew mom was increasing on a trait, a character defect she had for a long, long, long time. This is not going to let me upload this. I'm going to have it too many minutes. I'll try. Uh, and then and I'm down to the, if it don't let me load the, upload the final part, I won't upload it at all. Screw it. We all lose. I said, I mean, at the end of this, everybody's going to end up losing and something. Throw me under the bus, whatever. Throw me the pen. God bless. Do, do what you're going to do. Y'all, sorry. I want to say so many things about the political corporate people. Backstabbing lying thieves, man. Truth be told. Um, run your dear dogs up here again. God bless. Out of season. You need to stay away from the Paul Griblin land, really, that... that was directed to me as young as 13. He wasn't an uncle to you or a great uncle. Y'all leave it alone. Huh. Gene Griblin was more of a great uncle to me than my father was y'all. It's not my fault y'all didn't visit him. Not my fault at all. Y'all remember that. Before God Almighty. Mind your own business and stay put. In other words, away from me. I don't like your lying, thieving ways. Don't care. Don't. I. I don't agree with your your moral views, your political views, your business views. I. I. I, I presume to know how you are. You've proven it to me in the past. Stay away from Mr. Scotty Abbott, Scotty Wayne Abbott, the the grandson of the late Paul Griblin, the son of Debbie Abbott. Your DNA don't mean nothing to me. <laughs> His barely does. Son, boys. Even in legal sense, on the ad adoption papers. Um, anyway, he always has been, historically, until the past year or two, or more so the past year, or more, especially since my mom, I don't know, he's always been reliable. And even in my early 20s, if I had breakdowns or needed help, or come pull me off the side of the road, or get me unstuck, or my truck's broken down, can we tow it home? He, he has helped me. He's He's... Throughout my 20s, uh, other than some dysfunctions with him and my mother, he definitely helped me in my younger days with mechanic repairs and stuff. And, and anyway, just I'm trying to be positive, and I hope, oh, what's 80, 60, 70, 80? I'm above it. I don't know if they'll let me post it. i got to hurry up. Well, anyway, the point is, I didn't list, it, I didn't list notify a relationship other than mom. But then I should have put girlfriend, and I didn't. And I, and I don't know what I would list him as. Anyway, uh, that National Park Medical Center, man, that blows my mind. That's my handwriting. That's my handwriting. I shouldn't be put showing that out of respect. I, I, I don't want to taint them due to my dysfunction. And y'all need to leave them out of it if y'all think they're associated with something. That's private. I got to stop. I got to stop. 
about 9.34 p.m. 27th day of November, year 2021. Anything I said, rude, rude, tone of voice, don't take it over, rude. Just forgive me, overlook it. Spur of the moment, I'm up, I'm thirsty, I didn't drink out of my uh, soda I opened, and I'm really, I'm hungry, and I want to, I guess, lay back. I want to go to sleep after I eat, but I, probably, I have a trouble, it's going to be a hard time to sleep. And sometimes I have trouble sleeping, even if I don't do something improper with my diet. Like ingest too much of that early in the day. The doctors will say stay away from caffeine and other stuff if you have problems sleeping. They'll even say sometimes cut it out entirely. And don't exercise too late in the day. I'm a man of reason and logic. I'm, I'm actually a classy individual in some ways. In some cases, I'm a nasty, dirty, well, I'm, I'm being on shutdown right now. I've, let, I've, I've been camping down my house earlier this year to, to, to really to get myself some leeway. Leave it at that. Leave it at that. And I'm not totally proud of it. It could be a lot worse. It could be a lot worse. I think DHS has been in worse houses with children and, and, and said it's, it's, it's not bad enough for us to do anything. You know, leave it at that. Leave it at that. You know, and, and anything I said bol bolsterous earlier in this, don't take it too strongly. But by golly, if it's got approved, I'm, I'm not against going some of that avenue. Uh, and I was considering years ago, uh, if I could have done it, of having an attorney from the country, France, to, to sue the company or mediate with the company all the way to Europe, all the way to France, uh, to, to, to the head of ownership. I'm like, well, I'm not making any headway here in the state of Arkansas, so let me just not only move it out of the country of the USA, let me move it over there. Because an attorney told me there's only like three avenues of how you can, or more than a couple of attorneys told me you can only sue in the area that the property's located or a, 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 a certain kind of partner of a level of ownership, active partner, or where the primary ownership of the property is at. In that case, it would be France, unless something has changed. And he's worth over a billion. He's been on my property that nobody invited me back in 2008, but, the, the, but they was wanting more land. Then, this, I'll take 10 lie tests on that. FTC, FCC, uh, I don't know if FCC would be involved. CIA, FBI, if, it's, if I know if it's a, I, yeah, I, I want this one. I want to see what he looks like. I want to see his body language. Is he a family man or not? Come on, litigation. I, I, I got to know, I got to know. Do I, do I get to be involved in the jury selection? And it, it, where, where, where would I, what state would I have that in? Obviously not Texas. Obviously not Arkansas. We got, this, it, it, it's going to cost up to a half a million just to have this relocated. Aside from COVID-19, uh, um, the change of venue, remote, we can't do it out of France. They got too much fool in France because they got the most popular beverage there, according to somebody. So I heard. Why does this come to, in the mail to me? I didn't do it. Anyway, I got to shut up. It's, they're not going to let me upload this. And if I don't get to upload it, and, and deal, I'm done. I'm tired. But sometimes it's good for me to get this out, even if I don't get to upload it.